I think it's really exciting to be a clinical researcher in MF today. And this is really different from where we were, say, five years ago, you know, uh, where we looked at our uh, CLL and AML colleagues with some envy uh, as to, uh, to, and that had to do with how many drugs were being developed and the number of trials and FDA approvals, et cetera. But now it's, it's amazing how much is going on in the field and different unmet needs are, try, are being sought to be addressed, right? So to your point, you know, cytopenias, uh, as was the theme of my talk today, uh, uh, certainly uh, is a major unmet need, uh, not well addressed by today's drugs. Uh, Pecrithinib recently approved, but not a drug that improves cytopenias, rather it's a drug that can be used when there are cytopenias. So there's a lot of interest in, in drugs that improve hemoglobin and platelets as partners for JAK inhibitors or even on their own. And then that's one. Then another is what to do after JAK inhibitor failure. So uh, four groups have shown that the median survival after true JAK inhibitor failure is 11 to 14 months. So improving that is a big, you know, naturally there's a big push to try and improve that outcome. So drugs like imitalstat, naftimadlin are being looked at in that particular setting. And then finally, making JAK inhibitors better, right? So either combination strategies from the outset or uh, as an add-on therapy after someone's been on ruxolitinib for some time and is having a so-called suboptimal response. So there are some really exciting drugs. I'm probably most excited about pilabrasib in that setting in this add-on slash uh, combinatorial setting from the front line, for, you know, from the get-go. Uh, it's some very nice results, especially in the front line setting with pilabrasib and ruxolitinib. Also navitoclax. Navitoclax has had some really, ni really nice results as well in add-on and uh, front line settings. These are all in combination. Uh, pilabrasib actually has some data on its own. Uh, which is an additional possible utility of that drug should it get approved. So there's a lot going on. There's a, um, there's a number of drugs I probably haven't even touched, but, but these are the ones that come to mind right away. And again, for me, the three main unmet needs, cytopenias, ruxolitinib failure, true ruxolitinib failure, not just intolerance because of cytopenias, but when they really, when the disease uh, sort of uh, uh, escapes the drug, right? And then third is, uh, synergistic combinations to try and make the JAK inhibitor more effective.